Hey, what's up? It's like Kuskin. I'm really late and gonna ramble about Lost in Translation by New Politics because I was lost in a translation about this album. <laughs> you know, I don't really see like storylines in New Politics albums and I'm really tired, so I think I'm gonna overanalyze a party pop album for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, I think right before, I just want to say the technicality of this album is pretty decent for, you know, New Politics. I do enjoy their other albums, and with this one, obviously it is solid for sure. Um, I feel like there's a lot of other influence other than American pop, of course. Uh, especially with Madeline, I can really sense that it's because I grew up with European music, so I feel like Madeline combines like Come On Eileen, that song, with like basically Eastern European pop in the 2000s. Like that's just how I see Madeline, so there's a sense of nostalgia there because uh, the Venetia Fair's cover of Come On Eileen's like my favorite cover all of all time, and mixed with like 2000s European pop, like especially Eastern European pop, like, that's just something <laughs> that just, like, caters my nostalgia niche right there. Um, also, I feel like, you know, they stepped um, out of the U.S. influence when it came to Lifted in Istanbul, but I could be wrong. It's just, it's just, it's just um, when I hear those songs, I don't hear things that are pretty common in American pop music these days. I hear the Beastie Boys, maybe, but that's really about it. When it comes to Instam- wait, well, you know, with East Coast Thrill, I hear the Beastie Boys, never mind. When it comes to Lifted and Instambul, I don't know what I hear when it comes to that. I just know it's not really prevalent in pop music today. So that's why I really threw that out there. Um, yeah, East Coast Thrilla, definitely their Beastie Boys fandom, well, fanboy is, like, popping right out. You, you can totally tell. Tired me can tell it. That's all you gotta know. Anyways, let, let's translate this shit, okay? Let's get lost in the translation. Um, CIA, one of us, and Tell Your Dad featuring Rivers Kuma. Okay, we're gonna start off with these tr three tracks. Um, CIA and one of us are, um, singles, okay? CIA, you know, it's basically a house party. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do everything since the cops aren't here. You get the point. Um, I break the law, I break the law, it's my house. Uh, One of Us is a song that ARTV and many other music critics probably say it sucks, but I say it's the, um, you know, the South Park episode of making fun of, making fun of Osama Bin Laden during the time when people are trying to get over 9-11. That's really what One of Us is. It came out in a time where the world started going shit. And when hearing One of Us live at their live show, you know, the hurricanes were going on. They were like, hey, dude, the hurricanes suck. Let's play One of Us. You know, it just fits so well. You know, it is just that South Park episode. <laughs> like, that's basically all of the song is. Even though it's simplistic, it does get its point across. And it is something that is, you know, good for at the moment. It is something that we need as a song at the moment. And it is a single that we needed at the time, of course, because of how um, influential it could be even though it was really fucking simplistic. And probably a good chunk of bands could make one of us. But it came out in a time where we needed a happy song. We needed someone to be like, hey, we need to invite everyone. Everyone can come to our party and <laughs> not break the law, but everyone can come to our party and we can be nice to each other. And, you know, we don't have to have fear and hate divide us. You know, that is what one of us is. And I feel like a lot of people did not get the point that it was just a South Park episode that really pointed out the flaws in what we have today. You know, South Park is very simplistic. That is what one of us is. It's just a South Park episode of Lost in Translation. What can I say? I think a lot of people did skip that. But, um... Anyways, that's not even a tired me thought. Um, number three is Tell Your Dad fe re featuring Rivers Kumo. Uncle Rivers, what's up? Um, so what is this song? <laughs> well, basically, you know, this, this character doesn't want to get married, okay? He wants to party. He wants to party with everyone. And, you know, he's like, hey, you know what, Madeline's dad? I'm just not gonna, you know, get married in a church. I'm gonna do my own thing. And that's just what goes down, okay? I do kind of relate to this. I kind of want to be body painted when I get married. Because I saw this episode of, like, sci-fi's body painter people. I don't know. It was, like, a body painting competition. I don't know. I found that... And then it was, like, a zombie wedding. Like, I don't know. I found that cool. But that's just me. Anyways. So that being said, um, I feel like these three tracks really bring out some sort of party animal character that ends up getting in a relationship with someone very naive, and you're gonna see why I say that 
in tracks four to six. And basically, you know, let's continue that story. Four to six paints someone that is very naive, you know, and just doesn't know the world that much. And these tracks are Madeline, Color Green, and Lifeboat. So when it comes to Madeline, they're like, hey, you know, you got to try everything out. You know, this is like <laughs> the come on Eileen Eastern European pop mix that just makes no sense. But I kind of bop to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do enjoy the song. You know, it is like stop being so indecisive and get to know the world. You know, you need to know the world before you jump into some weird conclusion. And Color Green's a weird conclusion, okay? I've heard the song many times. It is a single, and I do enjoy it. It's, like, one of my favorite songs of the year, probably. Like, I listen to it probably 50 times now, to be honest. And whenever I listen to it, like, after the third time, like, this is about teenage pregnancy, okay? It literally is about teenage pregnancy. I'm not even joking. If you look up the lyrics, but basically, you know, I feel like Madeline uh, fucked the party dude, had a one-night stand, thought she loved him, you know, after the couple, like, Tinder messages or some shit. And then, you know, the party guy leaves and he, and she's just like, damn, that was not my love story. That was not my amazing wedding. You know, that was not what she wanted. And she just realized that. But hey, you know what? Now she has a kid. And the party guy is not really around. And I guess that's where Lifeboat comes in. Lifeboat's just like, hey, I think I fucked up. I don't know if I can do my best at this point with the situations I'm given. And the weird party guy's not really doing his job. You know, he ain't giving me, give, like, you know, putting his cut into the process of raising the, the color green childs, <laughs> so to say. And, you know, that's basically what Lifeboat is. You know, they need a lifeboat. They, they fucked up. And things could have been avoided. And then, you know, Lifted comes up. And I feel like um, when it comes to track 7 to 9, it is... Well, 7 to 10, actually. It is about the kid. Okay. Uh, Lifted is basically like, hey, uh, what the fuck's been going on? Um, and then, you know, Instanbul comes on. And Instanbul's like, hey, maybe I'm not a mistake. Maybe there is good in the world. And I can shed a light on things. So from Lifted being like, what the fuck's even going on with my life? Instanbul, hey, you know what? There, there's good in the world. And that's a good thing. But then, you know, track number nine comes on, East Coast Thriller, you know. I thought what's a Tell Your Dad in East, Th East Coast Thriller would be like totally joke shitpost songs, okay? But they aren't. Like, I am shocked. <laughs> like, East Coast Thriller, obviously, it, it got that um Beastie Boys vibe. Um, So when it comes to this song... You know, the the kid, re like, recognizes his dreams, okay? He goes after what he wants. He has his eye on things. That is basically what I see from that song. And then Clouds comes on. And Clouds is another, so like, you know, uh, slow song, like, color green. And, you know, Clouds is just, like, the kid kind of reminiscing about his life going, Hey, you know, my mom did okay. My dad kind of tried. Like, that's basically it. And he's just like... You know, maybe the stars I see are clouds. Basically, that is the chorus, what am I even saying? But yeah, you know, like the stars, you know, what has been put in front of me all this time. Maybe I've just been seeing life, whatever has been put in front of me with rose-colored glasses. And maybe if I take those rose-colored cl glasses off, I can see the world for what it actually is, all the good and the bad. And with that being said, I think I can do better than my parents, and I think I can do better for myself in general and try to do something that will affect the world in a positive light. And that is basically what what I think of Lost in Translation when I'm pissed tired. Um, things just two people fucking and partying and then someone comes out of it and then some that someone recognizes beauty after noticing that things were not really that great um, when their life started. And then, you know, everything just kind of evolves into mist. You know, what you've seen isn't really what um, is, I guess, real. And everything's just kind of just blending in together. And no one really knows what's going on. And you just have to note that everyone just tried their best, in a sense. And that's all you can really do in life. And yeah, I just totally said that about a pop party album.
and it is 11.50 p.m. that this is Tired Rants with Kusk. So I give Lost in Translation 8.5 out of She's Fallen With Me, I Can't Sing. You get my point. 8.5, She's Falling With Me's. That is the weird, that is probably the weirdest rating, but yet again, I'm pissed fucking tired, so what do you expect? Anyways, the picture that I somewhat drew, I, it's gonna be shown at the end of the video. Peace out, hug a tree.